Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Today I have a special episode for you because it's all about appetizers and champagne cocktails. And today's episode is sponsored by none other than Commonwealth Brewery Limited and in particular Moet and Chandon. So just to let you guys know, the Commonwealth Brewery Limited stores, including 700 Wines and Spirits, are having a 20% off sale on all Moet and Chandon varietals. That's right. So you can get brands like this, a varietal like this, which is the Ice Imperial. This one here we're going to use for our cocktail. And this one here is the Imperial Brute, and we're going to use this in today's food pairing. I'm so excited about this entire episode, and I want to get our recipe started. I've cleaned my oysters as much as I can get them clean, or as clean as I can get them. You want to keep them on ice so that they don't get spoiled, and you want to make sure that they are not um, opening and you just want to take a knife and just kind of open it that's it oh child hold on that's the top and even none of my oyster in here so you stay right there okay you see that he's trying to get away but ain't nobody into that we're gonna begin by frying out two slices of bacon we're gonna remove them from the pan and we're going to save them for later make sure you keep the oil on low heat. We have a quarter cup of shallots. We have two or three tablespoons of red pepper. A teaspoon of fresh thyme. Gonna just throw them in here. Large or small, it doesn't really matter. A teaspoon of garlic. A teaspoon of melted butter. That's more like half a tablespoon. And finally, just a few capers, some really nice salty capers. Now that these are nice and caramelized, we're just going to take a little bit of the Moet and Chandon Brut, and we are going to deglaze the pan just a little bit. Gonna put a little bit of our mixture on the top of each oyster. We're gonna take some Parmesan cheese. And remember that Parmesan is very salty, so what you wanna do is you wanna take your time because we don't wanna overpower the taste of the oyster. And these are our oysters. Gonna allow them to steam in a little bit of a champagne bath. Gonna set them out nice and pretty on our plate. And now we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of lime. We're gonna top them with that bacon. It's cocktail time. Now, this is the Moet Ice Imperial. It is definitely intended to be enjoyed over ice. Right. <laughs> Every time. Okay, so I'm gonna sample this one now. Okay. Oh. The Imperial Ice does have a little bit of sweetness to it and that's gonna make it perfect for the winter cocktail that we're going to make right now. I got this recipe from a very good friend of mine, Dalton, and he's a sommelier, so I made sure to give him a call because I didn't want to be looking stupid in these streets. And you know, you can't be trying to be bougie and don't know what you're doing. 
although people do it all the time. So let's get our cocktail started. We're gonna start with our simple syrup. This is just two parts water to one and a half parts sugar. You begin to let the water evaporate and for the sugar to thicken and you have the perfect simple syrup. Then I have some homemade cranberry apple and guava sauce instead of the dried cranberries that he suggested. A little bit of mint, a little bit of lime, some white rum, and of course this moe. Now you don't need a fancy shaker for this. You can use a thermos with a cover and a strainer. And you're going to take one teaspoon of homemade cranberry apple guava sauce plus one and a half ounces of simple sugar syrup and you're going to add that to the shaker. Plus you're going to take three quarters of an ounce of lime juice not lemon it has to be lime otherwise it's going to taste different and you're going to add that plus one and a half ounces of your favorite white rum whatever it is that you like now you're going to take three or four leaves of mint you're going to fold them in between your fingers and you're going to bruise them just a little bit to release some of that good minty freshness that we need to liven this up just a little bit i'm going to add a few uh, blocks of ice jokey story is he told me to mix this and not shake it but of course being me i shook it because i wanted to and now I'm pouring it into my champagne cup oh my goodness it's so beautiful and just to finish it off we are going to top it off with this moet and chandon ice imperial champagne and i want to say thank you so much for this recipe dalton this is so delicious i can drink this glass after glass after glass and it's definitely going to be a winter holiday hit we managed to get a little bit of luxury in our homes with the family at Commonwealth Brewery Limited. It's so hard to say brewery, brewery. <laughs> and the Moet and Chandon brand. And of course, they have a number of varietals which are 20% off this holiday season. So I hope I've given you some great ideas that you can use to bring a little bit of luxury in your home while you're lounging in your lounge wear. Now, let me tell you what we did today. Today, we bought out the oysters. We bought out the bacon, we bought out the shallots, we bought out the lemon, we bought out the capers, we bought out the bell peppers and the thyme. And as simple as those ingredients are, when you put them all together and you douse them with a little bit of Moet and Chandon Imperial Brut, you have the perfect appetizer for your brunches, for your midday lunches, brunches. Then, this recipe for this cocktail that Dalton gave me was everything. The Imperial Ice by Moet and Chandon went so well with that homemade cranberry sauce. Now y'all don't try this with no canned cranberry sauce. Don't do that. It went so well with that. Then you had the lime, then you had like the white rum, then you had the simple sugar, the mint. Oh. I gonna be drinking this all night. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I need you to listen to me and I need you to listen to me carefully. Go and get your champagne from CBL and any participating stores, including 700 Wines and Spirits. They are 20% off. Bring your holidays in with a bang. Live in the lap of luxury this holiday season from the comfort of your home. And don't forget, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Oh. Okay, so because I'm the bartender, I have to do this again. I gotta make an excellent. Why is this lime in my face? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Megan the stallion face. <laughs>